Now that you have Python installed, it's time to download PyCharm, where you'll be doing all of your coding. Open up your browser one more time and search for PyCharm EDU, and it will be the first link. Once you're on the website, make sure to click on the download free button. Once PyCharm is ready, you can go ahead and open that file. You will need to go through an installation wizard. Click next to continue. The first two questions are about the destination folders. You can keep those the same. However, this step is really important. You need to make sure that you add your launchers directly to the path and that you check the appropriate desktop shortcut for your machine, either 32-bit or 64-bit launcher. Continue through the setup process as you normally would and wait until PyCharm is completely installed. When you reach this screen, you're going to have to reboot your computer so that PyCharm can finish installing. Go ahead and reboot your computer before continuing to the next step. Once you have restarted your computer, you can open PyCharm EDU to continue the setup. If you get a window like this, do not import your settings and click OK. When this screen shows up, make sure you click Learner and then start using Edu Tools. That's it! You've installed PyCharm EDU. In the next video, you'll learn how to set up your project with the correct Python interpreter and install your CodeDrum mini library.